Hello guys, what's up? This is Devanshi and you are watching Science Q. In this video, we will be learning about some common differences between mixtures and compound. So without any delay, let's start. Everything around us is made up of matter. Matter is any substance that has mass and occupies space. Broadly, we can divide matter into two categories that are pure substances and mixtures. The pure substances can again be divided as elements and compounds. Now, let us understand what are mixtures. Any substance that is formed by physically mixing two or more different materials in random proportion without any molecular bonding is referred to as mixture. Chemistry consider mixtures as impure matter as there is random mixing of constituents. Talking about the properties of mixtures, firstly, there is no chemical bonding. The components of mixtures have no chemical bonding between them. That means they have no chemical interaction at the molecular level. In fact, they are just physically put together, which is why we can easily separate them by performing simple separation methods like filtering, sieving, decanting, boiling, etc. No give and take of energy takes place. In mixtures, neither old chemical bonds break nor the new ones are formed. Thus, there is no involvement of energy between the components. No new product is formed. The mixtures lack chemical interaction, thus there is no chance of formation of any new substance. Constituents do not lose their originality. The properties of components present in the mixture do not change while the mixture is forming. We can classify mixtures into two types, homogeneous and heterogeneous. Homo refers to similar. Homogeneous mixtures have uniform distribution of their components. They possess similar characteristic properties throughout the mixture. For example, when you make a solution of sugar, the sugar molecules get homogeneously distributed in the water. In contrast, hetero refers to diversity. These mixtures lack uniformity as the components are randomly dispersed in the mixture. In heterogeneous mixtures, the distinction between the characteristic properties of the component is clearly visible. For example, if we mix sugar and rice, you can easily distinguish between them. Moving on to some common examples of mixtures that are present around us. The air is a mixture of many gases which are present in uniform proportion. Beverages like cola, fruit juice, tea, coffee, etc. are also mixtures. Soil is also a type of mixture that consists of several different components such as sand, mud, gravels, pebbles, rocks, organic debris, etc. Cereals and milk are also one of the examples of mixtures. Now, let us discuss about the compounds. According to chemistry, the compounds are pure substances. We can define compound as a pure substance formed by chemical interaction between two or more elements combined in a definite ratio. Talking about the properties of compounds, the components of the compounds are chemically combined, due to which they lose their originality. After the reaction is completed, a totally new product is formed whose characteristic properties are completely different from that of the original constituent element. For instance, water is a compound formed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, which are both in gaseous state. But when combined chemically, they produce water or H2O, which is in a liquid state. Other than that, because of the chemical bonding, the constituent of the compounds cannot be separated by any physical means. The compounds are represented by chemical formulas. Each and every compound is depicted with the help of specific formula generated by the symbols of constitutional elements. During the formation of compounds, either the old bonds break or the new ones are formed. For this reason, there is a proper give and take of energy between the elements. Broadly, we can categorize the compounds into three main types. Ionic compounds, covalent compounds and coordinate compounds. The ionic compounds are formed by give and take of electrons between the atoms. Example of these compounds are sodium chloride and copper sulfate. The next type of the compounds are covalent compounds. These are formed by mutual sharing of electrons between two atoms. Methane and ammonia are the common examples of covalent compounds. The third type of the compound are the coordinate compounds. They are formed by the chemical interaction between the central metal ion and the array of ligands. Examples of compounds are present everywhere around us. Sodium chloride or NaCl which is a normal salt is also a compound. It is formed by the chemical interaction between sodium and chlorine. Another example is baking soda or NaHCO3. Water is also a compound which is formed from hydrogen and oxygen. Now, let us discuss some differences between mixtures and compounds. Meaning, mixtures are the impure substances formed due to the physical mixing of two or more components. On the other hand, compounds are the pure substances formed due to the chemical interaction between the elements at the molecular level. Example, the common example of mixture are soil, beverages, alloy, oceanic water, air, etc. Whereas, baking soda, methane, water, common salt, etc. are example of compounds. Composition 
The composition of mixture is not fixed. Quantity and ratio of its components may vary. In contrast, the constituents of the compounds are present in fixed ratio. Formulas Mixtures do not have specific formulas to represent them. On the other hand, the compounds have specific formulas depending upon the constituent elements. Properties The properties of mixtures may vary depending upon the type and the quantity of substances that are mixed. In comparison, the properties of compounds are fixed due to the definite ratio of the elements. Product Here, no new product is formed from mixing the constituents. In contrast, during the compound formation, always a new product is formed which has totally different properties than that of the constituent elements. Melting point and boiling point. Mixtures do not have fixed melting or boiling point. Conversely, compounds have fixed melting and boiling point. Separation. The components of mixtures can easily be separated by the physical methods like boiling, decantation, filtration, etc. On the other side, the components of compounds cannot easily be separated. So friends, that was all for today. I hope you liked the video and if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up, do comment, share and subscribe for more such useful videos. Do press the bell icon. Until next time, this is me Devanshi signing off.